friends so today we are going to see how we can install jenkins so there are two ways to install jenkins on a server we can either install java and necessary software for installing jenkins on a particular machine or server or the other approach is go with docker in docker we can install jenkins server the docker way of installing jenkins server is pretty much efficient because we don't have to install all the uh, java applications and all other softwares we can directly use any image which is present on the docker hub repository so we are going to opt for that approach so before that let's create a um, host machine on digital ocean cloud so it is known as droplet in digital ocean so let's create one droplet so go to create droplet then select the region which is near to your place go for ubuntu latest version basic image go with the regular and i am going with the 1 gb so ssh key now you need to create a ssh key if you have a windows machine or you are uh, from mac depends on that so for windows machine you need to use you need to install putty software and then uh, generate key and using that key um, you can establish as such connection if you are on a mac or on linux then um, you can use the direct open ssh command so i have already created this and uh, i can go with this because earlier i have already created so here i am going to give some proper name so that we should know which server it is now i am going to create droplet this is going to take some time this is our droplet this is the ip i am going to set a firewall for that we need to go to networking in networking we need to create firewall so this is common for all i'm going to add one more custom port is 8080 this is for our jenkins now we need to tag our droplet jenkins server for which the firewall is associated and name of the firewall is jenkins firewall just create firewall so our firewall is is also on its place now going to droplet going this and this is our ip so now we are going to run the docker run command so it's docker run hyphen p is for port first for the host machine then for the container again hyphen p 50000 this is for the jenkins cluster currently we are not using cluster so these ports are going to be unused but in case you are going to create cluster you need to provide these ports then we are also going to use named volume jenkins 
Assalamualaikum. Slash where slash Jenkins home image name Jenkins and the version of the image is LTS version. So our container is started. Now let's see going to docker dot uh, docker ps command. This is going to give our container ID. So this is the container ID. Now, if we go on the uh, on the browser, this is the old one. So just this this uh, container is no more. So I'm going to close this one to copy the IP IP of the um, droplet is this. Then eight zero eight zero. My bad. It's it took two times colons. It's only one colon. So this is so this is the first time this image will open, and this is the place where the password is there. So and this is this place is inside the container. So let's go inside the container. For that, the command is docker exec hyphen it then container id which is this and then bash so we are inside the container now let's go to the this particular place and see what what is the value there inside it. So this is the so this is the password. Let's copy this one and put it here. And we are getting installs suggested plugins. Click on that. This is going to take some time and. Uh, these are all the suggested plugins which are frequently used by Jenkins. So after this stage, we can view our Jenkins login. So we are on this page. We need to create user and password. I am creating admin. Password sum dummy This is the email ID I registered to cloudophilic at gmail.com. So this, this is giving us the URL, which we already know, which is the path uh, for the IP and then the 8080 port. So I click and start using Jenkins. So our Jenkins is installed and we have here manage Jenkins, then my views inside the manage Jenkins. We can see so few of the plugins are not installed because of the link with the GitHub and all so that you can ignore for now. Later on, once we provide the link with GitHub and Git, it is going to come green and uh, we can configure global tool configuration, manage plugins. Inside the plugins, we can search, we can add plugins as per our, these are the installed plugins, 
list of all the plugins which are there so so these are the uh, options you have in order to install jenkins currently the jenkins is running on docker container with the help of the jenkins slash jenkins lts version image and the admin here uh, the user is admin jenkins which i just created this way i think our installation is complete please let us know if you have any questions or anything you want us to cover in this thank you much for watching this video have a good one bye bye